Ed Sheeran has denied he borrows ideas from unknown songwriters during Monday's hearing of the Shape of You copyright battle. The trial first began on Friday, March 4, with two musicians claiming his 2017 song borrows parts of their song Oh Why, which was released two years prior. Songwriters Sami Shakri and Ross O'Donoghue made the claims that the chorus of Sheeran's song, which goes Oh I Oh I Oh I, was taken from their chorus Oh Why Oh Why Oh Why. Sheeran was wearing a black suit as he arrived at the London court on Monday morning. It is the second day of his legal battle. The singer-songwriter denied that he borrows ideas from unknown songwriters without acknowledgement, the court heard. On Monday, Ian Milkusi, for Sheeran, asked. Do you accept that you behave or have behaved in that way? To which the singer said no. The Bad Habits singer added, The examples he has been using are obviously famous artists, two of them are people I've made songs with. Mr. Sheeran claimed that if Mr. Sutcliffe would have done his research, he would have known there were lots of unknown artists he had cleared parts of songs with. Legal proceedings began in May 2018, with Mr. Sheeran and his co-authors on the song, Stephen McCutcheon and John McDade, with them asking the High Court to declare they had not infringed Mr. Shagri and Mr. O'Donoghue's copyright. Two months later in July 2018, Mr. Shagri and Mr. O'Donoghue issued their own claim for copyright infringement, damages and an account of profits in relation to the alleged infringement. The trial over the copyright dispute is expected to last three weeks. During Friday's hearing, Andrew Sutcliffe QC, for Mr. Shagri and Mr. O'Donoghue, said the question at the heart of the case is how does Ed Sheeran write his music? And whether he makes things up as he goes along in songwriting sessions. The barrister stated, or is his songwriting process in truth more nuanced and less spontaneous? Involving the collection and development of ideas over time which reference and interpolate other artists. This is the defendant's case. Mr. Sheeran is undoubtedly very talented, he is a genius. But he is also a magpie. Get all the biggest showbiz news straight to your inbox. Sign up for the free Mirror Showbiz newsletter. He borrows ideas and throws them into his songs. Sometimes he will acknowledge it but sometimes he won't. The barrister said this depends on who you are and whether he thinks he can get away with it. Sheeran's lawyers previously told the High Court that the shape of you singer and his co-writers have no recollection of having ever heard the song OY before the legal battle and vehemently deny the allegations of copying. Ian Milk you see, for Mr. Sheeran and his two co-writers, examine whether the case would cover if the three songwriters had allegedly subconsciously or consciously copied the hook of the song OY. How can more than one person subconsciously copy something? That is completely inconceivable, Mr. Mill said. Web celebs at mirror.co.uk or call us direct at 0207 29